Hi everybody, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Deliverance Ministry in Maryland. And today I want to talk to you about telling people about Jesus Christ. Now if you consider that the total world population is 7.7 .7 billion people, and that 5.3 billion people are either atheists or of other religions, for a total of a percentage here, we look at percentage, we look at 16% of the total population is atheists around the world, 55% uh, are other religions, and 29% is what we call Christians. So we have a total of 5.3 billion people that are either atheists or for other religions. And we have to consider the fact that these people don't believe in Jesus Christ. And we know that if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, more than you're not going to go to heaven. That's how it is. Jesus is the only way to heaven. 29% of those people, the total population, which is 2.4 billion people, call themselves Christians. And in there, there's a lot of people that are false converts. That don't have the right gospel. So is it important? It is important for us to go out there and teach these people about Jesus Christ, who Jesus Christ is, and to give them the right gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And to teach these people, because I'm gonna tell you, like 90% of the people that come to my ministry, if not even higher, do not understand the gospel. They don't know the gospel. Um, most of them will tell you that they're, they're good people and that they, you know, they, they care for others and things like that, but they don't give you the true gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which is that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried for three days, and rose again from the dead on the third day, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. And that we put our trust in what He did for us, not what we could do, but what, for he, what he did for us on the cross. <clears throat> And so we need to tell people that uh, because, unfortunately, 71% of the total population of the world is lost. 71%, if not higher, because that's not counting the false converts. So the, the scriptures tell, tells us here in um, Matthew 7, 13 to uh, 14, it says, Enter to the narrow gate. For the wide, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate, and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. So the scripture tells us that you know only a few are gonna make it. It's up to us to make sure that we tell our family members and other people, everyone we meet, about the Lord Jesus Christ and how He is the only way to heaven. So once again, I'm going to go over these numbers. 7.7 um, .7 people of the population, 7.7 .7 billion, 71% of, uh, of those people or even higher are lost. So it's important that we tell people about Jesus Christ. Uh, a while ago, I had a, a, a kind of a, a vision where I saw Jesus Christ in this muddy water. And in, in the muddy water, there was tons of people, tons of people in the water. And Jesus Christ uh, was, uh, there was like a pier. And Jesus Christ was taking people out of the water into the pier. And as soon as the people came out of the, the pier, um, the people were, the people were, you know, clean. They were clean. And they forgot about the people in the water. But Jesus Christ, no matter how many people he was taking out of that water, he stayed in the water, in the muddy water. And so we, we tend to do that once we're saved. We tend to keep it to ourselves. And instead of like going out there and telling other people about Jesus Christ, we forget that, you know, Jesus Christ is in the dirty water. So it, I think it's important that we understand that it is our duty to tell other people about Jesus Christ. Tell them the gospel, teach them the gospel, teach them about Jesus Christ. And if you, they, you know, if they reject you, so what? What do you, you put, plant the seed, plant the seed, let the Holy Spirit work in them. But tell them about Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you for watching this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And God bless you. Bye-bye.